Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Liz of Chicago Law Luxury Makeup. Today we are talking about all things Hermes. I recently picked up some Hermes blushes. I picked up three shades and I picked up one shade of the lip enhancers. Now, none of these are limited edition. These are all part of the regular line. So we are gonna play with all of them today, swatch them, and I will apply two shades to my cheeks. We're gonna start with the lip enhancer. This is shade Rose Tan number 49. So this is the box that it comes in. Take it out of the, the original packaging, you get the orange Hermes box, which I happen to just love. And then you slide out the box and there is the lip enhancer. It comes in this nice bag, which I do keep and store my lipsticks in. And then here's the packaging. I love the packaging. And then you've got the gold seal there on the top, which is um, consistent with all of the other Hermes lipsticks. So it does match. It does have the magnetic closure. So this is what it looks like. I have swatched it, but that's what it looks like. And it has the Hermes engraved or embossed on the side. Now I will swatch this for you. And I'm gonna put it on, but I mean. All right, so I'm gonna swatch it and then we're gonna put it on and let it kind of sit while we play with the blushes. All right, so that was going back and forth several times. This is not like any other balm that I have ever used. It is very, very, I'm trying to think of the word. A lot of people describe it as waxy, and I guess that's probably the closest word, although it's just different. Yeah, I really, I, I don't know what else to say other than it's different. So I'm gonna apply it right now. So there, the bottom, has it and the top does not. So I'm gonna let that just kind of sit while we play with the blushes. I don't really know how I feel about these. I don't, it's just not what I expected. When I think of a lip balm, I think of something that is almost like a jelly consistency, like really, really um, translucent almost. And it really hydrates your skin or your lips. And this may hydrate my lips, but it just feels so awkward that I don't even want to keep it on. I, maybe waxy is the right word. I, I'm really struggling with how to describe it other than it's very weird and I don't really like it. I love the packaging. <laughs> I don't like the product inside. So I, I don't know. I mean, I think it gives my lips a nice color, but it just sits down really weird. Let me kind of scoot in here so you can see. I feel like it really highlights um, the dryness in my lips. I feel like you can really see how dry my lips are. So I just, I don't really like it. Um, I can't say that I would recommend it. If I was gonna use a lip balm, there are several others that I could recommend. Um, this is not one of them, which really saddens me because I love the Hermes lipsticks. They are probably my favorite at this point, but this, you know, it's just not for me. I wanted to put it down first so you could see it on my lips and see how it reacts over a period of time because it does kind of get a little bit darker as it wears on. So we'll get the bad out of the way. Now we will talk about the blushes. So like I said, I picked up three shades. They're all kind of similar. So let's go in numerical order. 
The first one that I have here is Rose Blush, and this is shade number 23. These are all come in the same kind of like ivory packaging. And then when you open it up, they have the orange Hermes box. So they all come in this beautiful orange box, which I haven't decided if I'm going to keep them in the orange box or not. I don't know. I just love the orange box. So we'll see. I do keep my lipsticks in the orange box. So maybe I will the blushes too. All right. So then here's the packaging. And then you open it up and then here is the blush. And like I said, this is number 23 Rose Blush. So this is definitely the lightest of the shades that I got. The next shade that I got is number 32 Rose Palmette. And again, same packaging. And then there's Rose Palmette. Now these are all six grams and have a 12 month shelf life. And then the last shade is one that I've already used. And this is uh, number 61, Rose Few. So since I have already used Rose Few on my face, on the channel. I'm not going to use this one. I'm just going to swatch it, but I am going to do one cheek with the rose blush and one cheek with rose pomade. So you can see the difference and I will swatch all three. So why don't we start with the swatches first and then we will go into the application. All right. So this is the lightest one and this is rose blush. This is rose pomade. And then this is rose few or pew. So those are the three blushes that I picked up so far. And like I said, I'm gonna apply these on the cheeks so you can see how they look. I will try and find a promo pick from when these were announced a few months ago. They looked very, very light, very, very light, almost like they wouldn't even show up on my skin. But when I got them and I applied them, they are significantly more pigmented than I thought. So I'm glad that I went ahead and picked up three because now I want more. Um, so on my left side, I'm going to apply Rose Blush and I'm gonna use a Chikohoto KZ number four. This is the cheek brush. So that is how much product I was able to pick up with barely even swirling it around. and. There's no like real dust in the pan. So it's not like it's a big, you know, I swirled it and there's a lot of powder that comes up. It doesn't, it's, it went all on the brush. So I'm just going to lightly apply and then we can build it up. So this is just one swipe. And even just one swipe, you can see just how pigmented it is. Now I'm going to show you. So there's the product and there's no leftover powder. So this is the second layer, just trying to build it up. There is a, a very, very, very faint rose smell. Um, when I'm applying it to the cheeks, I don't even smell it. So, all right. So this is Rose Blush. It's beautiful. Like, I, I really am impressed. I really, really am. Um, all right. So let's pull my hair back for the other, my right side. I'm going to use number 32 Rose Palmette. And I'm going to take another clean brush, the Chikohoto Z Series Cheek Brush. So this is just one swipe. You can see, like this is more peach or coral, and this is definitely more rosy. So I'm going to go in with another swipe to just try and build it up. So 
So these blushes are definitely buildable. They are a lot more pigmented than I initially gave them credit for. And I'm really, really loving them. I think that they look absolutely beautiful on the cheeks. And I'm really impressed. Um, these are refillable. And I'm sure you've seen other YouTube videos where they talk about it, but there's a little pinhole here in the back. And when you buy the refill, it comes with the little like paper clip pin. It's like the same thing that you have in your iPhone to um, insert the SIM card. And so you just pop it out and then you can stick the new one in. However, these, and if you've seen other videos and you know that if you haven't, I, you know, we'll talk about it. Um, there's glue underneath here. And so that's what keeps them, that's what's uh, keeping the blush in there. So the refills, you'd have to stick directly in here and you can't switch them out. I don't, I mean, I think that that's pretty bad packaging on part of Hermes. It's, it really is. Um, they should have had a magnet so you could switch them in and out easier. Plus, I mean, over time that glue is just going to get, it's going to wear, it's going to wear down. Um, so I think that that is poor packaging on um, Hermes's part. Yeah, it is. Um, there is a, as I mentioned in my other video, the price difference is almost $30. So the refills are $48 and the blushes in the packaging are $77. So it's almost a $30 difference. Um, if I am to purchase any more, I will get the refill and stick them in another palette. I'm not even going to try and mess with taking out the the blush and dealing with the glue and all that. I think that would just be a big hot mess and yeah, I'm not doing it. <laughs> um, so there's that. But as far as the consistency of the blush, I think that it is very, very beautiful. And I've been wearing these now for about a week, um, a little over a week. And I think that they wear beautifully over a long day it really does hold up um, throughout the day it still looks nice at the end so I definitely think that these are worth it um, I mean I just I really really like them that is my two cents I am gonna swatch some other blushes that I have and see how they compare in shade wise so that you can see maybe if you have one of these other shades, whether or not you need these. So um, the first one I'm going to swatch is Chanel's Rose Bronze. And I was thinking that, well, initially I thought it would kind of be like the Rose Blush. I just dug my fingernail into the blush. Um, but now I'm not so sure. So there's Rose Blush by Chanel. I'm sorry, this is Rose Bronze by Chanel and this is Rose Blush by Hermes. So they're a little bit same, but not really. So they are a little bit different. The other Chanel blush that I have is Rouge Profond. And I thought that this might be like the Rose Few. So those are definitely similar. The other one is Rosewood by Sicily. This one's a little bit like more pinky berry. And then the last I have Tom Ford Ravish. So I definitely like the darker colors. I'm gonna swatch this rose few again right next to the ravish. So those are very, very similar. This is the Tom Ford ravish and this is the Hermes rose few. Those are very, very similar. Yeah, like there are, I mean, they look almost identical. 
which probably explains why I, that is my favorite color because um, the Tom Ford Ravish is one of my all time favorite blushes. Like, I love it. So they're definitely, I mean, the color story is not unique. Um, there are definitely other, I have other blushes in my collection that are similar, but this is, you know, brand new from Hermes. I do really, really like them and I'm happy to have them. Personal preference, I guess, but I really do like them. And I, like I said, I do want to pick up some of the refills. I know that um, at a lot of retailers, some of the shades are sold out. I will leave a link down below of everywhere where you can pick up the blushes. These are not limited edition uh, collection or shades, so they will be around. So you don't have to rush out and grab them and think that they won't be restocked. They should be restocked given that they are not limited edition. Um, I do know that the Hermes website itself has all of the shades and the refills as well. So, I mean, and refills is obviously a cheaper alternative if you want to go that route. And like I said, if I pick up more shades, which I do plan on doing, I am picking up the refills. All right, so it's been probably, what, about 10 minutes, and the lipstick is still on. I guess it's not a lipstick. It's a lip enhancer, lip balm. I don't know. I just am not a fan. It. I was so excited to get it. So, so, so excited. And I was just kind of disappointed. And it has, like, a taste. I don't know what it is. I don't know. It, it's just not my favorite. It is just not my favorite at all. But um, the blushes I do really, really like. The lipsticks I do really, really love. And this I think I could pass on. What I do like about this though is that it's refillable. So I can take this out and I can purchase a um, refillable lipstick to put in here. So then I, you know, cause I love the case. I love the case. I don't wear a lot of pink on my face or in my clothes, but I love the color. So yeah, I'm excited to just even have the case. Um, Also in this collection, I forgot to mention that in this collection, there were two brushes. There was a full length uh, natural hair blush brush, which I did not pick up that retails for $100. I have enough brushes that at this moment I am passing on it. Later on down the road, if it is on sale and I come across it and maybe I'll change my mind. But as of right now, I'm not picking that up just because I already have enough. The other brush is a travel brush and that is synthetic. And it's uh, just like a little short uh, kabuki style uh, brush. And again, I did not get that one either. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I would love to hear if you guys picked up any of the new Hermes collection, the blushes or the lip enhancers and what your thoughts were. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, I encourage you to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope everyone has a great day and I will see you in my next video.